as the Hokies fall short for the first time on the year at home to Louisville. Head coach Buzz Williams has made his way here courtside to join us. And coach, tonight as you got into the second half and your guys really continued to battle and battle throughout this game, Louisville, though, did you have to give them credit for the way that they were able to penetrate throughout the game and, and find open shooters effectively throughout both halves, really? Yeah, we did a really good job uh, in the second half offensively. Um, it was the lowest uh, percentage that we had allowed a team to get to the paint um, since Syracuse. Um, we did okay in that regard. We just had uh, too many turnovers. Um relative to how we're playing um you know they had eight more field goal attempts I, I thought we were in a groove uh better in the second half offensively um but we need every we need every single shot that we can get yeah that's the thing when you shoot the ball so well in the second half 56 percent 67 percent beyond the arc but 10 turnovers in the second half is a lot to overcome and then McMahon boy he got loose a few times didn't he and kind of yeah we were trying to have a little bit of zone pressure just to kind of change the rhythm and uh, both of those threes he shot uh, were out of the zone press um, but those were two big baskets for them it's just um, 18 field goal attempts in the second half, and I understand that we're trying to control the time of possession. But when you turn it over 10 times, it's just – it's, it's a lot it, to it just kind of um, um, compounds. It, it gives us another issue, and, and we have enough issues, and we, we need to try to not add to it if we can be in control of it. Coach, it seemed like throughout the course of the game, the guys, again, fought back from an early deficit were right there, but they're just in those opportunities to turn momentum for a variety of different reasons. It's never seemed like you could get that possession on either end of the floor. How discouraging is that as a group as you just kind of feel that happening throughout the game? Uh, just, I have so much respect for our guys. Um, we've practiced for one hour uh, since Wednesday night. Uh, it's a brand-new team. I don't think that um, considering – uh, great win for us at Miami. Um, and then we practiced Friday morning for an hour uh, before they went to school. Uh, thought, thought it was a historical game on Saturday. Uh, we were off on Sunday. That wasn't what was scheduled, but I thought it gave us our best chance. Um, we did our prep that we typically do one and two day before. Uh, we did that this morning. I thought shoot around was okay. Um, but I, I don't know that um, I understand the microphones in front of me, but I don't know that relative to my position I should complain at all. Um, we, we didn't get enough stops um, when we needed them, uh, but our OER was over one, which is really good. Uh, our DER uh, was as bad as it's been in a long time. Um, but, again, too many turnovers in a in a short shorter type game uh, but I just have the utmost respect for our guys and the families that they represent uh, for how they fought um, we're, we're not going to win a beauty contest with our new team and uh, maybe the maybe the uglier it can be if that's the right word probably the better and too often times um, it wasn't ugly enough um, throughout the game. It was a little bit of a struggle early to get some good looks, kind of like it was at NC State, but that was a great timeout you called when you're down 10 there and you got a good look to KJ. Keel hits a couple threes. Kind of got you guys going again a little bit after that timeout. Yeah, uh, I thought that was that was the right play. You know, we, we, we've got to try to keep it close yeah. uh, if that's the right way to look at it. We can't um, play the game. we got to play the – ATO segments. Uh, we've got to play the first half. We've got to try to use all timeouts at, uh, and, and be up at half. Use all timeouts and try to win the ATO. Um, 30 hits those um, two threes, back-to-back -back timeouts. That's probably against the coaching book. Uh, I went to junior college, so they didn't have that class. But um, we, we've got to try to win this ATO. And um, so – and then uh, same thing uh, on the timeout. I know a lot of people had already left, but 
21 seconds left, and yeah. um, the net rankings, uh, the NCAA hasn't released the formula yet. I suppose since it's February, they're not. But according to all the research I've found, if you win by 10 or more, that helps. If you lose by 10 or more, that hurts. And so uh, 21 seconds left, and you'll see a lot of that. Uh, it's been going on. I think it's just now kind of coming to the surface. I think we were down 11 uh, with 21 seconds left. We need to score, uh, and then we don't need to foul uh, because margin matters uh, more than it ever has in college basketball. So the basket at the end, uh, it wasn't a losing effort, but uh, decimal points maybe it matters even though we don't know the formula, but some of the smart people are hinting that it does matter. That's the, you've always done that, though. I mean, you use every opportunity to have a teaching moment, and you had to board out way before that time was up. So yep. kudos to you. Get the outlaw three on that possession at the end of the yep. game. And, and, Coach, we'll have plenty of time to hash it out again tomorrow night uh, over at the Cinnable. I know you're That'll excited. That'll be fun. I know you're excited <laughs> about that. So we'll let you go on this one. I thought the EQ tonight from the guys was tremendous throughout the course of the game, the way that they reacted or didn't, I, I should say, to, to calls and bad er, turnovers and things like that. It seemed like they were just very center of the road tonight. I uh, Again, uh, I think their EQ is as high as any group that I've ever coached. I think their togetherness is as high as any group that I've ever coached. I think their character and their work ethic is above reproach. Uh, and we, if we're, if we're only going to love them when we win, then we're selfish. Um, I actually love them more because of how hard they fought over the last five days, considering all that's transpired. And that uh, despite whatever their timelines say, they haven't uh, thrown a pity party. And now and, you uh, get a little time. I think that's good. Yeah, now you get a little time to get some practice time in and get a little rest. And Well, we have six games over the next 23 days, and uh, we've lost at home for the first time. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out how to handle home court, and then somehow we've got to figure out how to continue to try to give ourselves our best chance to win on the road, even though that's difficult. Well, Coach, as I mentioned, we'll let you go right there, and we appreciate it as always. We'll pick it up tomorrow, but we got to let you go by saying happy birthday to Zeke because she's yeah. right here in front of us. Yeah. Uh, 17. Yeah, she's 17, and this is the first time I've seen her. That's, uh, yeah. Some, some, someday I probably ought to take care of my kids the way I take care of our players. That may happen sooner than not. 17 Thanks. going on 25. <laughs> Buzz Williams heading out. And, of course, we're talking about his daughter, Zara, celebrating her 17th birthday here today. Hokies, though, fall to Louisville. 72-64 is the.